I wrote this poem, A Life in Protest, in response to Ingrid Pollard's really wonderful exhibition at the Glasgow Women's Library. I was particularly inspired by those parts of the exhibition where she talked to people about having been on a demonstration years ago and a particular photograph and what they remembered of it. And often they didn't remember um, the photograph being taken and their memory of the protest was, was often very, very vivid. Um, it seems that our lives are defined by the things that we believe in, by the process that we've gone on, by the marches that we've marched on. And uh, I, I wanted to write a, a poem that kind of covered that because um, I, was, I was on a protest the minute I was adopted. So this poem begins with that and goes through not just my lifetime, but, but that of my mum's and my friends. Um, and there's also a really wonderful uh, long photograph in that exhibition of Ingrid's of, of a march it kind of took up the whole of the wall of Glasgow Women's Library and I found that I found it amazing how stirring it is to see people on a demonstration chanting and singing and and the clothes that they're wearing so I was kind of fascinated by you know what clothes people wear in demos what chants they sing what new songs they sing what placards they make what badges they wear the whole thing um, so I tried to try to get as much of that packed into this quite long poem. I give you warning. A life in protest, straight from Elsie Ingalls, more or less, onto demo. Five months, och, och, get out the holy loch. Fancy putting submarines on the holy loch, the holy loch, where we didn't want Polaris. My brand new mum carrying we me. My brother in a pram. Pushed by Hugh McDermott, black berry on, bead eyes, lined face. But great, and in your tears you'll drown the hail clan Jamfrey. 1974, when Madame Allende comes to Glasgow after Pinochet's coup and Allende's murder, we learn venceremos, raise our fists, venceremos, venceremos, mil adenda sabra que romper. Hasn't Madame Allende got beautiful hair? My mum says, isn't Madame Allende inti tinti? At 17, you learned the truth and took to the streets umpteenth time, back to the night, candlelit processions, because the night belongs to women, blazing, banging saucepans, tins. Why should we stay in, make men stay in? Why should the Yorkshire Ripper rule our lives? Fear in the night air, the moon cleaved by a butcher's knife, the stars jagged in the sky's big bed. 1984, marching, marching with pride through London, lesbians and gay men dressed to the nines. Me with my double-headed axe, yes, my denim dungarees, bless, my pink triangle badge, my red kickers, don't mess with me. Sing if you're glad to be gay. Sing if you're happy that way. Watching people, watching us, out in the streets, staring, shouting, peering into the depths of us, like we were barely human. Strange new creatures, many feathered, flamboyant. What do I remember, Ingrid? I remember staying with Shia Le Shah in South London. I remember coming down from Glasgow and everything being different. I remember the first OWAD, like a first kiss, and the first BLG, the euphoria, faces I'd been missing my whole life, Olivette, Mo, George, Carmen, Gloria, Gail, Liliane, Hansa, Adua, Femi, Bernie, Claudette, Vadney, Grace, change your life's meetings at a woman's place. Or singing and dancing in that house in Brixton, police and thieves, Junior Marvin, Shaka Khan's I'm Every Woman, grinding and whacking, heads thrown back, we are family, we are family, I got all my sisters with me, tossing the dreads, locked smiles on our black and brown faces, I remember wearing an afro like Angela Davis, or joining the women at Greenham Common, peering into their made-up lives, their tents and woolly jumpers, camp cookers and tin mugs of tea, their sparky, fence-cutting, defiance and campfire, peace songs, woman tiger, woman love, help to save the world we love, velvet fist and iron glove, bring the message home. And the summer before last, 
nearly 60, I joined the protests, masked, in my local park, and we took the knee next to the beach and the ash for a full nine minutes for George Floyd and the rest. And we were silent, just the breath of the trees, in and out, in and out, out and in, out and in, on our bended knees. I remember my mother, my father, marching to free Nelson Mandela and Matthew too in his pushchair, raising his tiny fist and everyone singing the specials, free Nelson Mandela, I'm begging you, the black and white anti-apartheid banners, which some pronounced apartheid and others pronounced apartheid. And much later in the lived life, my mother, my father, back at George Square under the Green Party banner, my dad with his silver infirmary issued stick, my mum with her William Morris groovy one singing Give Peace a Chance at 78 and 73 in 2003, not in my name banners, stop the war in Iraq. I'll not stop till I drop, my mother used to say, singing Paul Robeson's Joe Hill or suddenly, randomly, on a clear May day, there is a bam in Gilead to make the wounded whole. There is a bam in Gilead to heal the sin-sick soul. Later still, housebound with Suzanne at her side, my mum relaxed in her lift-your-feet-up turquoise armchair, a revolutionary in red dressing gown, her I may be old but I voted remain badge on, sent by Frankie, her wide with red slippers on. Let me go away from the Mississippi, Suzanne roars. Mum joins in, sure thing, she says, sure thing. A call and response, sister, you tell it, sister. As next door's high fence blows down in the winds, as city seagulls swoop down for stale scones, as winter rains flood the back garden, as a weeping willow Weeps along your willow, oh willow, when the sun goes down across a lifetime. You and me, we sweat and strain, body all aching, sure thing, I'm tired of living, but scared of dying, cause old man river, he just keeps rolling along, keeps rolling, he just keeps rolling, sure thing, sure thing. Sure thing.